Good morning, my name is Mr Hode. I am a maths teacher at the Warren of School. Welcome to your maths taster session. Today we're going to be looking at something that I call the Collatz Caterpillars. Um, as you can see there's a quick challenge on the screen at the moment so maybe if you pause now and have a go at that and then we'll get started. So let's get started. There are just two rules really to remember. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a number and then what we're going to do is decide is the number even or odd. So is the number divisible by two or not? So if it's divisible by two, what you have to do is divide that number by two or halve it. And then the second rule is if that number is odd, then what you have to do is multiply it by three and add one. So those are the two rules. Don't worry, we're going to do a couple of examples first and I'll show you what I mean. So let's do an example. So we start with our caterpillar head. So I said we were making caterpillars uh, and we are. So we start with our caterpillar head and we're going to put a number in there. We're going to start with three just to see what happens. So we're going to start with three and we're going to check. Is that number even or odd? Three is an odd number because you can't divide it by two. It's not in the two times table. So we're going to multiply it by three because this is the rule because it's odd. We're going to multiply by three and add one. So three times three is ten. Sorry, three times three is nine plus one is ten. So I'm going to put a ten in the next part of the caterpillar. Now ten, is that even or odd? Ten is in the two times table, so we can divide it by two. So it must be even. So all we're going to do is divide it by two and draw the next part of the caterpillar which is going to be 5 because 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now we've got 5. Is that even or is that odd? 5 is an odd number, so we're going to follow the rules. We're going to multiply by 3 and add 1. So 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1 is going to give us 16. Excellent. Now we've got 16. Is 16 even or odd? Well, it's even, so we're going to follow the rule and we're going to divide by 2, which is going to give us 8. And then what we're going to do is we are going to check again, is it even or odd? It's even, so we're going to divide by 2 again and we're going to get 4. 4 is even as well, so we're going to get 2. And then 2 is even and we're going to get 1. Now, at this point, we need to stop. And see if you can work out why. I'll give you 10 seconds. Have a think. Why do we have to stop at 1? What would happen if we continued? So if we continued with 1, we would multiply it by 3 and add 1, which would get us back to 4. And then if we were at 4, we would just get to this bit again, and then we get to 2, and then we get to 1, and then we keep going. So the thing you need to remember is that when you get to 1, you stop at one okay that's the important thing so how long is this caterpillar let's check one two three four five six seven eight okay so when you start with three you get a length of eight so let's make a note of that start at three gives a length of eight Excellent. Right, let's try another example. OK, so this time let's try a starting value of six. Now, six is even. So we are going to divide it by two and get three. And three is odd. So we're going to multiply it by three and add one, which will give us ten. Now, if you're being very observant, you might spot something at this point. 10, we can divide by 2, and we get 5. 5, we need to times by 3 and add 1, which is 16. 16 is even, we can divide that by 2. 8 is even, so we can divide that by 2. 4 is even, so we can divide that by 2. And 2 is even, so we can divide that by 2. We've got to 1, so we'll stop here. Now, did anyone spot anything that could have made this easier for us? 
Now I noticed that last time we started at three. So we had already done all of this bit from three. So make sure you look out for that when you do your own ones, because if you get to, for example, three, you've done the next part. So make sure you're looking out for that because it will save you time when you're trying to do these yourself. So we know that a starting number of six has how many? Is a length of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's change the color. So six has a length of nine. So let's start talking about what you can do. The man, Collatz, that created this idea and came up with this sequence believed that all starting numbers, so whatever number you started with, would eventually get to one. But it hasn't been proven. You can't prove it yet using the maths that the world currently knows. So we're going to have a play around and see what we can find out about it. Now, your challenge is just to test some numbers. So you've probably got about 20 minutes left and I would suggest start with the numbers between one and 10. Get all of those numbers done. Now, one would be very easy because you are already at one um, and some of them are quite hard, but then there'll be different lengths of caterpillar. So think about that as you're going. Remember, these are the rules. If you have an even number, you divide it by two. And then if you have an odd number, you multiply by three and, and then add one. So some things for you to think about. What's the longest caterpillar that you can find? Firstly, have a look at the numbers between one and 10 and see which one's the longest one there. And then start thinking about what other numbers could you try? I wouldn't go past 100 because I think that there are some very long ones that are less than 100. So see if you can find the longest ones there. And then start, start thinking about which numbers have really short caterpillars. So you might find some numbers that are quite big that still have really quite quickly getting to one uh, caterpillar so they have a short length so see if you can spot the pattern there and then does a higher starting number necessarily mean a longer caterpillar so those are a few questions for you to think about but by all means come up with some other questions to answer and investigate those i'd be really interested to see any kind of ideas that you've got in september come and find me um i'll be around and i would love to see your work and see if you can find the longest one um, you can also look it up. There's a whole Wikipedia page for the Collatz conjecture, it's called, if you are interested in looking at the research that's been done by proper mathematicians, um, professional mathematicians, and uh, see what they've done on it. But it's a very interesting idea, and I look forward to seeing what you've done. So good luck. I'll leave you there. You might have to pause on the screen, but have a go.